Hello, everybody! In today's video, I'll show you how to create a software RAID in Windows Server. In our previous videos, we explored what is RAID, how to build a computer for RAID systems, and how to create such a system using the BIOS features integrated into your motherboard. And today, you'll see how to create a software RAID in Windows Server operating system with a graphical interface. So, let's begin! Hello, friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you'll be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog, you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. It is very easy to create a software RAID array in Windows Server. First of all, you should decide what RAID type you want and make sure you have the sufficient number of disks to use with that type. Once you've settled this issue, start configuring the RAID system. I'll show you how to create a RAID 5 array, but setting up other RAID types is very similar, except for certain architectural differences, so this example is quite versatile. Open Disk Management by right-clicking on the Start button and choosing this line from the list. With built-in operating system tools, you can create a RAID 0 striped, vol striped volume, RAID 1 mirrored volume, RAID 5 and JBOD spanned volume array. To create the RAID type you want in Disk Management, right-click on one of the unallocated disks and choose the type you prefer. Click Next, add all necessary disks and click Next again. Assign a drive letter to the new volume and format it. Ready? When the new volume visit closes, there will be a message saying that disks need to be converted which will erase all data irreversibly. As the disks used in our example are empty, click Yes. If you have any important or necessary data on your disk, save it elsewhere before you proceed. After the disks are converted and RAID 5 is created, the resyncing process starts. It can be quite long, and the actual time needed to complete all operations depends largely on disk capacity. When resyncing is finally over, your RAID system is ready to use. Such method for creating a RAID array is also available in Windows 10, and an alternative solution could be using the feature known as Storage Spaces. Visit our YouTube channel for another video on creating a software RAID system in Windows 10. Check the link below. Also, there are special utilities to help you create and maintain a RAID array, for example, Intel Rapid Storage Technology. I'll give the link to this utility in the description below this video. Download, install and start the application. You can see several tabs there. The status menu displays the condition of the system and your disks. The Create menu lets you set up a RAID system consisting of your disks. Hit Create. Select the RAID type. You are free to choose between flexible data protection RAID 1, 0, 5 and 10. In case you have any doubts, there is a brief description for every type. Select the one you prefer and click Next. Give the volume name and select the disks that will make up your RAID. Select the one you prefer and click Next. Configure advanced settings if necessary. I leave default settings for volume size and array allocation. You will see the warning that this action will permanently delete existing data on the following disks. If you have any important data there, save it to another location before you move on. Check the option Proceed with deleting data and click Create Volume. The volume is created. However, the utility informs you that before adding any data there, it's necessary to partition the new volume with disk management. That is why you need to open it. Immediately, you are informed that the disk must be initialized for a logical disk manager to access it. Select Partition Style and click OK. Right-click on the disk and select New Simple Volume. Follow the wizard directions.
Now your RAID system is ready to use. When you open Windows Explorer, you can see the new disk. The utility shows that the disk is still being initialized. The duration of this process depends on disk capacity. Using this tool makes it much easier to monitor your RAID status, and should any of the disks within this system fail, you will notice it at once. This utility lets you see which particular disk has failed by using its serial number, and on every disk there is a sticker with that number. In the Settings tab, you can configure notifications in case of any problems and even specify an email address to send notifications automatically, and set up automatic rebuild for cases when you need to replace a faulty disk, or schedule automatic verify and repair operations. Other settings let you decide on cleaning cache and use of caching options, verifying and checking any data inconsistencies, and more. This is how you can create any of the available software aid types in Windows Server operating system in an easy and effortless way. That is all for now. Hopefully this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell button to receive notifications and never miss our new videos. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck.